Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a dual review of Telvin Smith's 86 and Telvin Smith's 91. So his core elite and his team of the week. Uh, his core elite stats here, 82 speed, 83 acceleration, uh, 82 agility, 87 play rec. So not too terrible if you're going to leave him alone. 82 zone coverage, but that's, you know, not 91. So um, that's about generic zone coverage. 77 catching, so better than some cornerbacks even. Basically, I, I like Telvin as a very good 4-3 or coverage linebacker. That's really his specialty. He's not really a, a rush the pass type of guy. Uh, his his power move and finesse move on this base card are 64 and 78 respectively. Uh, but basically, uh, if you run a 4-3 scheme or a 3-3-5 like myself, uh, I think Telvin is the guy you want to get for your outside backer. He is, I don't know, Sean Lee seems a little slow. Telvin just feels feels so good out there. Uh, speed. You can you can use him across the field. You can le let him go on his own. Six foot three for the height. I mean, he's 77k for the base, and you know this is kind of all similar things that I could say about the team of the week. But we'll get to his stats specifically then. So 77k f for this uh, core elite still, um, and it. it you know, there's a reason he's that uh, high price, and not just because it's overall. Like, some 86s are lower than 77K, um, because this Telvin does play that way. Will make those plays. Like, look at the way he, like, just how fast he got across the field there to make that play. Like, when you see, if you see my Jarrell Freeman review and, and how slow that 77 looks versus this uh, plus 5 speed up to the 82, it does seem like a pretty big difference. I mean, plus 5 speed and it being the most important stat in the game is... is what you can say is the best. So, play rec, all that good stuff. Love Telvin. In a 4-3. In a 3-4, there are much better options just because uh, you want to pass rush. I don't know why <laughs> I got called down there. That's hashtag just Madden things. All right, take a look at his team of the week. We'll rate them both at the end. Uh, 86 speed, 91 play rec, 90 block shed. Again, the, the finesse and power move are low. Uh, hit power at 90. So, overall... Amazing stats for an outside backer. And once again, a 4-3 backer. This one, a, do not do not rush the pass with unless you can get him a free lane. Of course, the speed is, is very necessary. If you got like a, I don't know, some sort of edge blitz setup that you can get right outside linebacker free. Like kind of that that Tampa, not Tampa 2, but the, the, the cover 2 out of the 3-4 where both linebackers blitz. I forgot what it's called. And then you can hover over one guard to distract him from getting around the edge. He's fine with that. Ideally, you want somebody better on the outside there. Same speed, but uh, in case they get caught by offensive linemen or tight end, they'll be able to get there and pass rush. Telvin's not the pass rusher. Again, 4-3, 4-6. He's great maybe as a dime uh, player or a nickel. A nickel linebacker is perfect for Telvin. Great into coverage, like I said. So the differences between these two are the, obviously the speed, the play rec, and about 450K. Do I think the 91 plays 450k better than the 86? No, uh, but I do think he plays better. And as you go, and as you guys know, the higher overall up you go, the closer to the max number, the the best player at their position you get, the higher the the price increases exponentially at that point. Uh, but that 90 block shed is basically as good as most offensive linemen's run block. Like, there, is there a left tackle? with much higher than 90, I think 93 is the highest run block left tackle. So he is going against against the run, if he gets picked up by left tackle, he's got a fairly good shot at, at block shedding that. And you see that a lot on the run, where he's just kind of like, oh, insta block shed, like a tight end. What are these tight ends coming at you with? Like mid to low 80s on the run block? So he's gonna dominate most tight ends, especially the ones that got like the speed on them with the, the high 70s run block. But I think a lot, of, a lot of the good tight ends now are in the 80s. So coverage, run stuffing, uh, basically the ideal linebacker for the 3-3-5. The 3-4, not so much, like I said. So overall, I, I, I feel like I'm repeating myself. Uh, impact block, 90 also on this card, 87 on the lower one. I didn't get to that. So again, good against the run against pulling guards and whatnot. Uh, we'll go through the trays to the same on both cards. Clutch, no, which is too bad. High motor, yes, which is nice. D-line swim move and spin move, both yes. Uh, he's not going to have a good good finesse move to, to really... Uh, take advantage of those bull rush no big hitter yes strip ball yes so maybe when the the fumbles get patched into the game um you will see him causing more but overall in coverage with his uh zone coverage let me let me scroll back to what it was i did see him make it, it was 88 so the zone these guys will play the zones very similarly like watch this right here that's exactly what i wanted to go to do you see that how it just went right over his head that is so frustrating he converted converted a fourth down 
because he threw right at Telvin and Telvin didn't animate. So the zone coverage could be improved. That's not great. I don't think this one's worth it over the 86 if you're short on coins. But the 86 plays like an 8.8. .8. The 91 plays like a 9.2. But the price, I got to knock them down quite a bit, down to an 8.5. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.